I am Dr. Biakolo Esomba, obstetrician gynecologist, Cameroonian citizen. Many years before, I was uh, diagnosed with uh, hepatitis B patient that I come, uh, unfortunately, across this diagnostic while uh, doing second year of medical study that is uh, in the years uh, 2000. I went to a blood donation. They did me uh, many exams. Hepatite, hepatitis B was one of these exams. And unfortunately, I discovered that I have this virus in, in my body. I tried uh, treatment, but at this time, year 2000, there is no evidence of effi efficient treatment. 2021, on the February, I have abdominal pain. So I go to see my doctor. Uh, he discovered that I have appendicitis. So I undergo surgical treatment of appendicitis. While doing that, he discovered that my liver is damaged. Then I begin a treatment. After 10 months, I check again, and uh, my doctor discovered that uh, the disease have increased. I was diagnosed uh, a liver cancer patient. My doctor referred me to Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. When I arrived, I was well received by all the team. I was received by my doctor, Dr. Rajiv Larson, and we have our first meeting. When he came to see us uh, about uh, three months ago, you know, I was really struck by his very calm demeanor and was also extremely pleased to know that he himself is an operating uh, surgical gynecologist in Cameroon. His problem was that he developed chronic liver disease due to a combination of hepatitis B and hepatitis delta infection and he had developed significantly large tumor masses in the liver and his AFP level was also high and it was a particularly challenging problem because we were not really sure at the outset as to whether we were going to offer him an operation to remove the tumor or to do a transplant. So after detailed evaluation here at the Manipal Comprehensive Liver Cancer Group, we decided that transplant would be the best option for him because doing just a resection would actually have led to a very high chance of recurrence in the remaining liver. But one particular challenge was that his tumor was slightly out of criteria for transplantation, which is generally accepted by us all across the world. So what we did here was we actually gave him some bridging treatment. We did what is called as transarterial chemoembolization and we controlled the tumor and we did a reassessment about eight weeks later where we proved that the tumor had not spread anywhere else. And with this, we were able to offer a living donor liver transplant. My donor was also well received. Uh, actually, she is my sister who accept to come with me here to give me a chance to wake up from this uh, uh, very advanced uh, cancer, liver cancer. The operation was performed in a very successful manner with very minimal blood loss and in fact very minimal blood transfusion. He was in fact extubated at the end of the operation. We generally keep patients ventilated for around about one to one and a half days after liver transplant, but Dr. Bayakolo was extubated at the end of the operation. And this was a particularly, you know, interesting and very fulfilling aspect of his treatment. And he was discharged at the end of like two and a half weeks after a transplant in a very good, uh, healthy condition. And we expect that his future will also be pretty bright and we intend to keep him under close follow-up here. After the intervention, I am well recovering I'm very satisfied. I want to greet Dr. Rajiv Laushan and all his team. I pray God to help them continue save lives and patients like me. I think what I'd like to say to finish this uh, brief note is that at the 
comprehensive liver cancer group at Manipal hospitals. We have an extensive cohort of subspecialties working together and we're able to offer such complex treatment in a very fulfilling manner to patients. It's an absolute pleasure to see Dr. Bayakoro and his sister recover well after this extremely complex liver transplant operation. And uh, you know, I do wish both of them a very long and happy, healthy life.